Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be comparing two dynamic microphones, a Shure SM57, which I just purchased, and a Seismic Audio SAM20 microphone that I've had for years. Both have a similar construction and the exact same reported frequency response, 40 hertz to 15 kilohertz. The SM57 weighs in at 9.9 .9 ounces, and the Seismic Audio at 7.4 ounces. So my setup is that I'm going to be using my Marshall DSL-20 through a Seismic Audio cabinet loaded with two Veteran 30 speakers. And my signal chain is I'm going from my Peterson tuner to my Morley Wah into my Boss Super Overdrive pedal. And in my effects loop via the four cable method, I have my Boss Noise Suppressor and my Boss Digital Delay. The microphones are connected via XLR wire to my Focusrite Scarlet 2i4 and then direct into Pro Tools. So first up here is the SM57. Next is the Seismic Audio mic, same wires, same placement. So here's my conclusion after testing both microphones under the same exact conditions. I find that the SM57 is a bit of a smoother sounding microphone and it produces the bottom end better than the Seismic Audio. I do find that the Seismic Audio has a bit more top end and I think initially it comes off as if it has a bit more clarity, but I find it to be a bit more harsh, perhaps a bit more brittle sounding. But what I intend to do is to use both at the same time where the Shure SM57 will provide a bit more of a bottom end and a slightly smoother middle range, whereas the Seismic Audio mic will provide a bit more top end. The SM57 mic goes for about $100 new, and I believe the Seismic Audio mic was about half that amount when I purchased it. And although I think the SM57 is a better microphone overall, it does show that you can get a pretty good microphone on a budget. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time.